Okay, well, apparently I'm live. We'll see if this functions the whole time this time. It looks to be working. Okay. Oh, because it's replaying on here. Okay. Glorious. So I have... I'm going to let some people get in here while we uh, get going and while the always amazing Danny is going to bring me a drink. Thank you, dear. This might... Yeah, you can take it. You can watch the live video in there, so I can't. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to watch it on here to see when people are commenting. So I don't think I can see who is. I don't think I can see how to. I can't look at comments and stuff on here. That's what I mean to say. So. Um, all right, I am Snapchatting the live video that I'm doing right now with a microphone. So come see me on Matt Freaking Blake on Facebook right now. So see, I'm Snapchatting while I'm uh, doing this action. And it's like multi-dimensional video. So it's wild. So now we're going to go put it on uh, Instagram, and I don't know if I'm going to talk about Instagram much tonight, uh, but I'm definitely going to talk about Snapchat and website tips and marketing, uh, and that's what I have to talk about. So we will do it. I'm just trying to... Whoa! I love this. I'm using a new microphone and a new, completely new setup tonight, so this is... Uh, going to be interesting to say the least so we got to post it he on the Matt freaking Blake page because I was supposed to be live 14 minutes ago and it's been going on and off Uh, share, share. Okay. So, for all the millions and millions of you out there, um, so three things I'm going to talk about tonight. Now, three minutes into this video, I'm going to talk about website tips, and I'm going to talk about Snapchat, and I'm going to talk about um, marketing in general. So I gotta turn this down so I can. I'm gonna be so distracted. I'm gonna be watching this on like two different videos. Okay, so um, website. To, I know a lot of people are gonna come into this after it's already started, and so they won't see some of this live, but they can see it on the replay. Right? That's the beauty of Facebook Live is you can have a live audience interact, but then you can also it'll be recorded and be here forever. So. Uh, the first thing I want to say is uh, website tips. And I'm going to get a drink because I love you. And I need a drink. Um, website tips. I have three main website tips for you for uh, content on your website. And the phrase content is king is a uh, misnomer. Everybody says content is king. But if you just have tons of stuff on your website... That doesn't just make a good website, okay? The big key to content is relative, keyword-centric content. So your main page content on your homepage, when people land on your page, this is where you want to send them all, like a thousand words of content or more is what you need. might seem like a lot, but if you get to writing about your own business, especially if you weave all the keywords in there like you should. For instance, um tow truck company I did work for, um, best tow truck company in the city, the city's best tow truck company. All these kinds of things will 
you know, if you're looking for a tow truck company in our city, if you need wrecker service, these are all different ways to say the same thing is basically what you're doing. But a thousand words. I look at people's websites every day. Very few people, very few, are doing a thousand words of content on their main page of their website. It just doesn't happen. Your secondary page should have five or six hundred words of content. Very few people are doing that. You have a services page. Uh, say you are a electrician or a plumber. You have a services page, and what do you have listed? You have like residential, commercial, plumbing repairs, slab leaks, water heaters, drippy faucets, and that is the listing on your services page. You're nowhere near where you should be on the content. It should be written in a way that people will read it and understand it because then Google will show you all the love. The other quick thing I just want to say about websites is your title tags. So if I go to your website and you know how when you go to a website and you look in the top and it like says the name, like when you're on Facebook, it says Facebook. If you're on my page right now on Facebook, the little tab in the top of your browser will say Matt Freakin' Blake. So whatever it says at the top of the website, you want that to say something, not just home page. So like when I go to your website and it just says home, this is a bad thing because no one is that title is not going to direct anyone to your website. They're not searching for home, right? They're not searching for contact. They're not searching for frequently asked questions. These titles and the title tag of your website is another fabulous place to include keywords that you want people to find you for. For instance, if you're the plumber we've been talking about and you're in Fort Worth, Texas, your title could say Fort Worth's best plumber. That could be the title of your homepage, not home. So think about keywords and being effective for Google. Now, the second thing I'm going to talk about, probably the most exciting thing everyone's here to hear about or coming to see this video about tonight is Snapchat because a lot of my fellow marketing people, uh, maybe you've been doing marketing for a long time. I've been doing marketing for 20 years, but you have to stay ahead of the curve. People who are just now getting on the Facebook advertising bandwagon, you missed the big gold rush. People who are just now getting to Instagram, it's still good. It's still happening. Facebook ads are still good. Don't get me wrong. But if you're just now getting on board, there's people way far ahead of you. Snapchat, folks, is the future. Like five years ago, Facebook was the future. Facebook's going to be around for a long time. A lot of you people know I follow uh, Grant Cardone, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, guys like that, and they preach, especially Gary Vaynerchuk, preaches Snapchat. So if you don't want to listen to little old Matt freaking Blake, listen to a guy who's built a huge business based on marketing, and this guy is all in on Snapchat. So some people ask me, what do you share on Snapchat? What's the point of me, Mr. Businessman, being on Snapchat? Well, you do things like I do on Snapchat. So what do I do? I get on there and I'll share a little tiny marketing tip. Like one little thing I talk about in this video, because you can only share 10 seconds of video at a time on Snapchat. You can share a picture, write on it, color on it. Those are super fun. So what do you share? I might get on and say, hey, everybody, make sure your website has lots of keywords that people are searching for to find your business. Boom. If you're a plumber, you might get on there and say, hey, the summer is winding down. The winter is winter time is coming up. Have you checked your pipes? Have you winterized your pipes? Maybe then post a picture of some pipes that are properly winterized. You're sharing this information on Snapchat so people will, hey, check this out. Good information. Good information. If you're a body shop, maybe share cool pictures of an awesome car. I share funny marketing things. Then I also share videos of my kids doing ninja moves. If you're on my Snapchat last night, it might still be up there. Uh, DJ Matt Blake is my Snapchat. If you get on there, uh, my five-year-old was doing a ninja jump. So I, I videoed him doing the ninja jump and put it on there. You know what? Snapchat is behind the scenes of your life, behind the scenes of your business. And I was telling, I was telling people earlier today, there's a reason when you go buy a Blu-ray or a DVD these days, it comes with like 87 hours of behind-the-scenes extras. 
because people like to see the behind the scenes extras. They want to get to know you. They want to see all about this stuff. So on your Snapchat, if you're sharing free information to help people, help potential customers, help people, even if they're not going to be your customer, help people. You share all this information. You do all this cool stuff. They get to see you walking through the mall. Oh, you see something cool. You Snapchat it. Whatever it is, you're sharing all this fun stuff all your life. So then when they have a leaky pipe, they're like, oh, on Snapchat, I remember that guy shared that pipe thing. And they go, and they've seen your kids, and they've seen you at a concert, and they've seen you out with your friends. So they then they feel like they know you. They they know a little bit about you. And so it's not like they just pick some random plumber out, out of thin air. They know you. They've seen about your family. They know you know what you're talking about. And so when they need a plumber, they'll pick up the phone and call you or Snapchat you. It happened to me this week. This week, several times, actually, in the last week. But this week specifically, somebody uh, was, oh, I need someone who does SEO. And they saw one of my snaps where I just sent somebody a whole lot of business through my SEO stuff. And they're like, oh, well, well, I'll call this guy. We know this guy. So it works. It works all the stinking time. So don't give up on it. Um, Another thing people ask about on Snapchat is where to find followers. That's a huge thing because Snapchat, unlike Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you can't search for your friends, right? You can't just say, I want to find everybody who's connected to my Facebook. I want to find everybody who's connected to, you know, whatever. You can, however, search for contacts you have in your phone. So if you have someone's information in your phone, your little iPhone, you can add the, add the people on your phone. But where do you find people you don't know? So that's where you have to be a little bit of a marketer, right? You have to share your Snapchat user ID or your the website to add you, which, by the way, is snapchat.com slash add slash whatever your username is. And if people click on that, it'll pop it up in their Snapchat app so they can add you. So share your snap code, which is your little picture, snare your, share your user ID, and share the link and share it on your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram, wherever. Uh, this week, I did a little experiment where I said, hey, everybody share my snap code for me because I want some more followers. It surprised me how many of you awesome people who follow me on Snapchat shared that. And because of that, I did that yesterday. Today, I got dozens of new followers, like first thing this morning. And then every time I opened Snapchat to check it throughout the day, I had eight, 10, 12 more followers. And so it's huge. Other people want to help you. They realize the value of Snapchat, just like you do. And so they're going to use it just like you do. And I don't know if y'all are posting questions or anything, but I can't see, uh, I can't see any stuff on here if people are posting questions. So anyway, I'm trying, but I've never used this setup like this. Usually I use it on my phone, but I didn't want to be on my phone. I wanted to be where I could move about. Anyway, so... That is one of the ways to find followers. You share your stuff. You get other people to share you. Another thing is it's it's a little harder to work out is do a Snapchat takeover where someone else is invited to be on your Snapchat. Say, hey, you're a cool dude or dudette. Come be on my Snapchat. Take it over. So you give them your login. They snap some cool stuff. It needs to be kind of related to what you do or else it's useless to you. You know, who, you know. You need to find some similarity between the two of you, or you can be on someone else's. So if I, um, if I want to tell local business owners about local search and SEO, maybe I would find the Chamber of Commerce and say, hey, the Chamber of Commerce is on Snapchat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take over the Chamber of Commerce Snapchat for the afternoon, and I'm going to snap some cool things that I got going on, some cool SEO tips, website tips, marketing tips for those kind of people. So take your expertise, find someone else who can use that, whose audience, people who'd be following them can use that, and take over their Snapchat, you know, and share some cool stuff. That's a fun way to do it. Um, And then another awesome thing, this is not about finding followers, but this is on Snapchat. Something that you can do that is amazing is geo filters. So when you snap a beautiful pic of yourself on Snapchat, and then you scroll through and you're like, oh, you know what? Let's just live demo it, whatever. So you're on Snapchat, and you take a picture of yourself, which I'm going to do right here. Right? And so there, you can see the picture. 
Then if you swipe this way, you see the little geo filter comes up that you can see it says Fort Worth, right? And then there's Haslett, which is the other town I live in. There's a message for your teacher. So you can see it down there, kind of. It's, it's hard to see in the thing. But you swipe teacher shout out, and then the, it gives you the clock and the altimeter and the, and the temperature, and then the different colored filters. But if you swipe, first it'll show you geo filters. So like if you're, if you're in a certain area, you can do that city. Look, I'm just going to post this stupid one right here. So dumb. I love Snapchat. Um, so what you can do with those geo filters is you can create your own. Yeah. You can plaster your logo on there. And then you can pay for it to be available in a certain area at a certain time. And people who use it will see it. For instance, something I did, I also DJ. A lot of you know that I wedding DJ, event DJ. So the one of the Dallas Bridal Shows just happened over in Dallas. And so what I did was I made a Snapchat filter that said, Welcome to the Bridal Show across the top. Across the bottom, it had DJ Matt Blake with my logo. I paid, I think it was $13. $13 is all it cost. And you set the perimeter where you want it to show up and the time, like noon to five, over the event center, and it cost me $13. And I could reach everyone at that event the entire time they're there who's using Snapchat. And then when they share it, then it's on Snapchat for 24 hours for anyone who follows them to see it. Now figure out what kind of local events your business would benefit from. What if you uh, have a sporting goods store? What if you set a geo filter that says my sporting goods store loves the Dallas Cowboys and you set it over AT&T Stadium for the time period of a Dallas Cowboys home game? That could be huge, right? And it's not going to cost you maybe $20, $25 to do something like that. That's immense. Nobody's doing this yet, particularly small businesses. Nobody is doing it yet. And it's cheap. It's easy. If you don't know how to design a snap a geo filter you can put it together on their website you don't have to be a designer you can put this together on their website so i urge you all to check it out snapchat.com check out the geo filters so i had some stuff i was going to talk about with local marketing but because um because it seems like we are we're getting uh on in the evening and I can't even tell if anybody's posting any questions and stuff. Uh, let me see if I can get on here and see. It's hard to tell, you know, if uh, I'm getting any questions in here. I gotta figure out a better way to to see this action. Yoink, yoink. Um, I don't think. I don't think anybody's posting any questions. There's been several people in here, but uh, that's cool. Okay, I was going to talk about some marketing stuff, but we're already like almost 19 minutes into this video, so I don't think I'm going to do any more. Uh, what I'll talk about very quickly about marketing is, one, think uncon unconventionally. Do unconventional things. Example, I used to do a podcast, and when I would go to the Verizon store or Best Buy or at t or wherever they sold cell phones and tablets, while I was waiting to be served, I would go to every tablet and every phone, I would open its web browser and open the web page to my podcast. So I would walk away and there would be 15 or 20 devices all displaying the homepage of my podcast. That cost me nothing. It wasted five minutes of my time. If one or two people saw it, it was one or two more people that saw my thing that cost me nothing and I had nothing else to do at that time anyway and it was kind of funny, okay? Um, podcast is another huge thing. Find a podcast that's relevant to your industry and then call and ask them if they want you to be a guest. If you're a plumber, find a home improvement podcast. Ask them if they want a plumber to come on and talk about home remodeling tips from a plumbing standpoint. Um, printed pieces are not dead. You can print out postcards relatively cheap to market whatever you're doing. I do direct mail for people still pretty often. So don't forget about printed pieces. Flyers are kind of cool and vintage and old school these days. It's not all digital. 
And then also, uh, the final thing I have to say about marketing in general is go where your customers are. If your customer base is in the 50 to 60 year old market, you probably don't have to worry about Snapchat. Not yet. If your customers are 40 to 50 years old, you should be using Facebook ads. Everybody should be using Facebook ads, really. But if your target audience is 22 years old and under, you sure as heck better be on Snapchat every day talking about your brand. So go where your customers are. If your customers like love a certain type of music or a certain type of restaurant, go spend some time there. Figure out what it is they like and uh, be into it. If you know for a fact all of your customers are huge fans of this certain restaurant, go have dinner at that restaurant, Snapchat you doing it, and post it out there. Hey, what do you guys think of this restaurant? Snap. Interact with your people. Go where they're at. That's about all I have to say, I think, for tonight. Thanks for watching this little informative quicksy tipsy. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Tell me what you want me to expound upon, and I will do it more. I have a feeling, just a personal feeling, we're going to be talking a lot more about Snapchat in the coming days, in the coming months. I'm happy to answer all those questions. I know I need to do a very in-depth live video about search engine optimization, that SEO thing we always talk about, and we need to talk way more about how to optimize your specific site. Um for Google and how to do other things to help your website rank on Google and get up there so you can dominate your local market because that's what it's all about. I am all about helping you, small business owners, dominate the search engine results for your local market. That's what I do. Check me out at facebook.com slash Matt Freakin' Blake, um, Instagram, Instagram, Matt FN Blake. Um, and www.mattfreakinblake.com. There's blogs up there. You can get some info. There's also a newsletter you can subscribe to at mattfreakinblake.com. Anyway, uh, I love your faces. You're all beautiful people. Come back real soon and uh, follow me on Snapchat. I'll follow you back. See you later, folks.